Hello, my name is Daniel Fernandez. I am the owner of scienceinhydroponics.com and today we are going to be doing a video where I will show you two very important things to do after you create and prepare your first concentrated solutions. So this is the B solution that we prepared last time uh, in, in the video about how to prepare uh, some simple concentrated solutions. And today we are going to learn first uh, how to calculate what the expected conductivity of the solution is and second how to measure the density of the solution so that when you prepare it multiple times you can control for the quality of it. The density will also be useful as in the preparation of the dilution as it will allow us to do a dilution by weight not by volume which can lead to more precise and exact um, conductivity values. So this solution, if you remember, was meant to be prepared, it is meant to be diluted at 4 milliliters per liter of final solution and we are going to be doing this by weight after we measure the density of it. So how do we measure the density of the solution? To measure the density you just need to measure a very exact and precise volume and then measure the weight of that volume very exactly as well. But how do you measure a very precise and exact volume? Well, you could think about using something like a volumetric flask or something like a syringe, but these volumes are actually not that precise or uh, exact if we want to determine the, the density very, very uh, well. And we have a glass instrument which is actually meant for that, which is called a pycnometer. This is a 10 milliliter pycnometer and this pycnometer you can see here very closely uh, we can use to uh, we can use this to measure density the volume of a pycnometer is fixed and it's very precise and very exact so it's the ideal um, volumetric material to measure density and we are gonna use this so the first thing that we're gonna do is remember do not perch the pycnometer because the pycnometer uh, before you use it because the pycnometer needs to be way, way, uh, weighted dry. So the first thing that we're going to do is measure the weight of the full pycnometer. Which is 12.13 grams. Using this scale, if you have a more precise scale then obviously use that. I'm using this one because it's the one that I have that fits the um, the range of weights that we're going to be using. Now to use the pycnometer, now that we actually measured it, we can do a simple purge with the liquid. Just to ensure that we're not measuring the density of any uh, thing that remains in the, in the pycnometer. So I'm just going to do a simple purge of it. Now in order to use this uh, you actually fill it all the way to the brim when you want to measure. So see I'm filling it fill so I'm, I'm filling it all the way up to the brim and then I am going to just put this in and it will overflow which is totally normal. And now I'm going to just take a paper towel I'm just going to just ensure that the pycnometer is dry. So having it overflow is very important for the measurement. You fill it to the brim, then you allow it to overflow. And now you weigh it after you dry it. And then the weight of the full pycnometer is 24.82 grams. Now the density is then very easy to calculate. The, dif the density is just the difference between these two weights. 12.13 and it's 12.69 and now we divide by 10 which is the volume in milliliters and this gives us 1.269. We can use 4 because we have 4 values that were measured so we can use 4 and these are grams per milliliter. So cool! Now we have calculated the density of the of the solution. Okay, so now 
we have finished the measurement of the density. Now what I want to calculate is the weight that I would need of the solution to match this dilution rate. So what's the volume of stock solution that I would need to add? The volume for 250 milliliters, which is what we want to prepare, would be uh, for Um, well, would be we have, well, it's actually four divided by four. So it's actually one, just one milliliter, what we need to add for 250 milliliters. And then I need to calculate the weight that we need. And since we know the density, it's actually only one milliliter. So it would be the density times this value, which would be 1.269 grams, grams. So this is what I need to weigh. To weigh this, I will just, first of all, I'm going to, as we always do, I am going to carry out the mandatory purging. You know, if you don't purge, you go to purgatory. So now that it's, uh, I've purged this volumetric flask, I'm gonna put it here. And I'll just tear this. And I'm going now to use a syringe, which I'm just gonna be using to also purge the syringe. which I'm just going to use to add the required volume. So the required weight, so we know it's 1.26 so I added 1.26 which is the highest precision that the uh, scale allows me to do with this within this range so now I've added exactly what I wanted so now I will be taking this to the final volume of 260 milliliters 250 milliliters sorry using distilled water So I'm just going to add the bulk of the volume. So now I've taken this to the final volume of 250 milliliters and now I'm going to homogenize this solution. Now I'm gonna purge another beaker so that I can measure the conductivity of this diluted solution. First, I'm gonna purge this with distilled water because it has a lot of crap in it. And now I'm gonna purge it with the diluted solution so that I ensure that I don't measure the conductivity of distilled water. So you know you need to purge three times for luck. Now I'm going to add 
enough to measure and I'm now gonna take out my previously calibrated conductimeter conduct meter I'm gonna ensure this is dry And the final conductivity of this is, as you can see, one point, we have the happy face there, which means that the measurement is stable. So the conductivity is 1.249 millisiemens per centimeter. Or well, uh, around this. So, that's how you would prepare large amounts of the solution. If you, if you were to prepare 10 gallons, for example, it's very hard for you to measure a final volume of 10 gallons precisely and exactly. So what you would do is that you would just take 10 gallons and then just add enough of this B solution to take the conductivity to 2.253, sorry. Changed a little bit after I wrote it, of course. And now it changed a little bit again, okay. <laughs> so, so yeah, the idea is that you would just take the, the um, you would add 10 gallons to your tank and then you would add B solution um, at a, it will still be around this amount, but it won't be precisely that because your volume will not be very exact, but you will just add it until the conductivity measurement reaches this value. So this is how you will take a small scale, very precise, very exact preparation to values that you can use for large scale preparations. So as you see, we calculated density, which is useful both for the preparation of more precise and exact dilutions using weight, as well as for actually making sure that your concentrated solution will also be reproducible because next time you prepare the same concentrated solution, you measure the density should be the exact same thing. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this was useful. Remember to like and subscribe this video, please. I have very few followers. I would like to have a little bit more. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video on my blog. If you have any video requests, feel free to leave those in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.